Beyond these prison gates, behind the razor wire and these bars, inmates are learning how life on the outside has passed them by. Strapping on these virtual reality headsets, inmates like Colin Barnes learn how to do simple tasks like doing the laundry and using a debit card. Last time I was, I was a little kid and he used quarters. Other inmates learned how to conduct themselves during a job interview. How do you handle criticism? He's progressing as fast as someone else. The goal? to get these men ready to re-enter society. We hear about job interviews and really, we don't experience any of that on a daily basis. Barnes had never driven a car, never even been to a restaurant other than McDonald's because this is just part of his story. In 1993, when Barnes was just 16 years old, he broke into his neighbor's Aurora townhome and killed her. Lorraine Tillman was stabbed to death with a kitchen knife. Barnes was tried as an adult and was sentenced to 84 years in prison. Yeah, I have hope now. Because before I was just like waiting to die in here. The state is now taking a hard look at life sentences given to juveniles. I actually called my mom, I was crying. Everyone seeing what life on the outside is like through virtual reality killed as kids. And now they could get a second chance. I'm not that 16 year old kid who just was running wild. He says he thinks about that time every day. I was looking in the mirror and I was just, you know, I was kind of afraid of myself when I was, you know, the reflection. I was like, I couldn't believe, you know, what I had just done. And he thinks about his victim and her family constantly. I mean, I can't say sorry enough. After completing the three-year program, the inmates would then have to go before a parole board, and then the governor would have to sign off on their early release. In Canyon City, Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First.